Meanwhile, a group of former U.S. diplomats and State Department officials has sent a letter to Congress urging members of both chambers to support the nuclear deal with Iran. Now, the letter sent separately to the House and Senate says the deal would leave Iran with, quote, no legitimate avenue to produce a nuclear weapon during the next 10 to 15 years. The letter has been signed by former undersecretaries of state and five former U.S. ambassadors to Israel. The states that no agreement between multiple parties can be perfect or without risks. This comes amid verbal spat between the White House and some Republicans. Congress is until September the 17th to review and vote on the Iran nuclear conclusion. So far, the administration officials made numerous appearances on Capitol Hill to brief the lawmakers.